watched uh, She-Hulk episode one the other day with my lady. And I'm going to be honest with you. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I feel like if we, as a viewer, rely on commentary from the internet, that we're going to do ourselves a disservice by avoiding content or, you know, avoiding subject matter or whatever, and ultimately missing out on something that could be rather enjoyable. You know, much of the um, hostility towards the show stems essentially from, I guess, what was put in the trailer and comments made by the either I think director about it being a feminist perspective or something like that and whenever you use words like feminist or we're going to add a little bit of woke content or something like that you know people lose their minds about it they act like the entire media is going to be essentially brainwashing propaganda you know and when you believe that kind of stuff it it's very closed-minded you know but whenever i hear that kind of thing i just go ahead and watch this watch whatever it is anyway like for example um and it's not always like you know pushed as propaganda my example would be like captain marvel the movie a lot of people didn't like captain marvel before they ever saw it before it was ever released because brie larson made a comment about while she was on press tour she saw a lot of white dudes and she implied that she wouldn't hate seeing more diversity And the fact that she used the phrase white dudes triggered a lot of white dudes on the internet. And it made them lose their minds. And they essentially review bombed Captain Marvel. And that's what they did with She-Hulk as well. There was, I think, the trailer was meant to troll the very people they were triggering. Or it was meant to trigger the very people they were trolling. You know, there's a couple of comments that was edited in the trailer to imply that She-Hulk was just going to be better at absolutely everything and emasculate the Hulk. And people are really offended, I guess, about what's going on with the Hulk character in the MCU. I don't know. It's my understanding since like the 70s or 80s or whatever, the Hulk was just like this anger monster. And so for 20, 30 years, all he did was growl and throw things and punch stuff. And it's, it's a little weird that people have such a difficult time accepting that maybe... A different take on the character you know a a speaking hulk really bothers folks i guess and it's like i've never read the comics i'm not a comic book guy but it's my understanding like at some point the hulk wears like a suit you know so if you want comic book accuracy you're gonna get some ridiculousness and so i think people just gotta have to accept that sometimes it's not gonna be how they want things to be you know but with she hulk i thought the um I thought the first episode was incredibly entertaining. The acting was fantastic. The, uh, the There was a point where you kind of feel like it might take a turn for the wokeness or whatever. But overall, it was a completely normalized show. I didn't, I didn't feel like it was woke very much at all. There was like a line or two that made you go, well, well I mean, you could, I guess you could almost consider it woke, but it wasn't. I think you th- I think if you think the show is woke, you're probably just listening to what other people are saying on the internet and aren't you're not really forming your own opinion based on what you've seen. You're basing your opinion on what other people are saying. Now, I'm sure that there are many voices on the internet that are critical of these the woke Marvel content. Um I think in particular I would say critical drinker tends to be very critical, but that's that's his shtick. That's what he does. But that shouldn't undermine the fact that he's actually very articulate in what what he doesn't like about the content. And I don't think anyone should fault him for having an opinion on that because he does he does explain his position very well. What I don't like is when people watch content like his and go, yeah, he's right. And then they just review bomb a show they never watched. If you're going to dislike something, you should dislike something from the experience of not enjoying that particular thing instead of just hating things for a bandwagon, or, you know, to hop on the bandwagon. That, that herd mentality is really bad nowadays. You know, I, I don't, I'm not oblivious to the fact that there is some wokeness being pushed in today's media. It's, a, it's in a lot of media. But if you're aware of it, 
then it shouldn't bother you. It shouldn't manipulate you. It shouldn't, you know, if you think it's going to affect your kids or something, when it pops up on the screen, explain something to them. Pause whatever you're watching and go, hey, this is what they're saying, but I don't agree to it because this is why. But to sit there and hate on a show because you saw a trailer and it might be woke and you don't like that, that's so silly. It's immature. You guys review, there's like a whole slew of the internet that just review bombed the show before it was even out and it's like you're becoming a stereotype you're becoming um almost predictable you know no one's going to take the review bombing seriously if you do it before the show because that because everyone knows that the negative reviews were done before you ever even bothered to give the show a chance and that's all i did i watched the show i gave it a chance and i thought it was well done i thought it was well put together the acting i don't care for the actors i don't know their names i just think they did an okay job if i had one gripe about it and this is a little bit of a spoiler okay but and i don't care i'm gonna spoil this but at the very very they ended on kind of like a cliffhanger thing or whatever but they had a very dragon ball evolution-esque flying sidekick in there that just looked awful it just looked really awful, like maybe some of the worst wire work I've ever seen in Marvel. Just, just awful. But yeah, other than that, the show was fine. I'm looking forward to episode two. I mean, maybe the show might take a turn for the worse, but so far it's okay.